So hey guys, um, I'm Dave. This is Dirt Bike Dave channel for those of you who are new. And this is the GPX TSE 300 L. L standing for linkage. As you can see, the bike has, uh, you know, the linkage on the bottom. Uh, this is just a very quick uh, riding impression or first day impression of getting the bike and taking it out. I just took it for a little spin. Um, some goat trail to some land that's getting developed right now um, just open open graded land that's uh, getting developed for housing development um, of course there'll be lots more videos um, I plan on doing a ton for this just like I have done for any other bike on this channel um, most recently coming from a KOK 6R 250 four stroke so my first impressions of this bike and some of the things I'll tell you about the bike in, in general that's different from uh, how you how you can buy it. Uh, first first thoughts on the engine itself. A very powerful engine, on par with anything more powerful than uh, any anything two stroke that you can get right now out there from the other manufacturers. Um, the thing that got me that I found very, um, what's the word, that I that I really enjoyed, that I felt was different than other brands that I've ridden the two strokes, um, is that this has a counterbalanced engine. Um, that is that's not necessarily new technology, but somewhat new for two strokes, and it's very smooth and the power delivery is very linear I mean for linear in this aspect of for a two-stroke two strokes typically in the past have not been very linear uh, linear they've had a very um, certain areas mostly top end and they had quick hits and they you know two strokes spin up very fast and give you the power very quickly so that mostly what you had to do is really get on the pipe you know, or really get you know full throttle get up into the higher revs and take outside lines and momentum the thing that shocked me about this thing was it has grunt down low it actually has low end torque low end power I put it down in um, in third gear and was doing some figure eights and initially I was doing them kind of quickly and then I started just kind of really try to rock crawl if you will or kind of crawl and I couldn't believe the torque it, it was very very much uh, um, very powerful but with torque it was very torquey and I think that's really good for guys coming back into the industry you know been away from bikes for a while uh, you know that were very used to the very pipey two strokes this thing's uh, from top to bottom just however you want to ride it you can ride it so many different ways you can ride it down low and lug it like gear up and lug it you can ride it um, you know a gear uh, gear high and lug it that way you can also um, like you know kind of four stroke take the tight inside lines that and you're, you know you don't necessarily have to keep that high momentum on outside lines you can go anywhere you want um, or you can rev it like a, a, a typical two stroke really get it up there revving real high you know and uh, ride it that way I will be taking this bike to the track. I am a motocross guy, that's kind of been my background. And so this bike, as you can see, we've made a couple of changes to it from the original. So it, it's had all the elect the you know turn signals, if you will. Um, the back had a uh, amount for a license plate and two turn two, two turn signals, you know any kind of accoutrement that would you know be mirrors or anything like that the, they, the way they come is more like for a um, off-road bike so it comes with those kind of things we've taken off the kickstand on this side there's no kickstand um, all this is to save weight there's no other real reason but the tank I don't know if I would imagine you can see where my hand is here you know it's not very long and on the other side over here Normally, where it goes halfway to the to the cases, it's uh, up high. Even with the 
radiator shroud. So it's a very small tank. It's um, like one and a half gallons, a little, or maybe 1.7, a little bit less than, than two. Um, but we did the, we, we did those things so that I can uh, go try it on a motocross track. We've also got um, some suspension work front and rear to make it stiffer uh, to, to deal with that kind of scenario. The, stock, the way they come stock, they're more for off-road and they have a little bit lighter springs, a little bit lighter valving for the uh, suspension. But the big thing I wanted to talk about, yeah, was the motor. The, I, I'm blown away by this motor. It's really good. It, it, having, a, having torque and uh, being able to rev out like a two-stroke does, you know, just any time you need a little bit more power, just, you know, hit the fan the clutch a little bit and bring it right back up into the revs and you're off to the races so yeah um, and the build quality I you know going through going through this I've, I've never owned a GPX this is my first GPX so but the build quality all the nuts and bolts are you know the nuts and bolts are great quality um, billet billet aluminum clamps kind of like extra kind of they got the split in them uh, decent quality tires. These are um, a little bit more for the hard, but still nice knobs. Good, good tires that came on it. Good rims. They're um, Enduro X series. They're called, and they're very thick. Um, I haven't put my calipers on the spokes yet, but I can see that they're as thick as what my Ko motocross bike had on it. Um, Good quality plastics and graphics. Good quality gripper seat that's uh, so it grips so much it actually uh, was pulling my pants. It was it was pretty good. Um, the frame is really nice and it's powder coated. The powder coating and the welds are amazing. I'm not showing you the detail. Obviously, the camera is a little bit mount, mounted far away, but um, trust me, I'll, I'll do some more videos and you'll you'll see the. The quality of the welds and the quality of the powder coating. Um, right here, I do have an hour meter. Uh, solid aluminum gas cap. Um, the brakes, you know, they're not folding levers, but they are good. They have a good feel. They're in the right place. Uh, hydraulic clutch, which is you know kind of new to the two strokes. I, ca I can't really think of too many. Um, the Austrian brands have them, but yeah, so that's kind of new within the last couple of years. Hydraulic clutch, and man, that thing is buttery smooth, no problem. I, I really like the engagement of it and how easy it is to use it. Um, going to the engine, the engine is uh, a 300cc, which I think is 294 is the actual cc rating on it. Um, nice stamped pipe with the ribs for strength it's it's kind of a thicker pipe i think this is going to be fine um we did have joe henner at gpx uh make me a shorty silencer so the silencer is four inches less than it was when it comes stock that kind of helps with mid-range and um, low and mid-range having a shorter silencer and plus it's just cool <laughs> cool factor kind of like the tank i think that's just a also a cool factor thing. It looks really neat to have a smaller tank. The foot pegs are, you know, aluminum wide foot pegs, but they also have these screw in inserts to, uh, you know, give you grip into the boot. They're like these little pegs that come off and they're replaceable. You can, you can get new ones for that. Um, good solid clutch I, I don't have any problems so far with the clutch the brake worked well um, o-ring chain came stock uh, aluminum aluminum shift lever with a folding tip the engine uh, going back to the engine um, it is carbureted which I find to be actually beneficial a lot of things that I've read online when other manufacturers went to a oil injected transfer port injected but they also did it with uh, they were injecting the oil at, at the same time 
the, the engines were starting to have problems. They seized quite a few of them in the beginning until they figured that out. And then also the accoutrement that goes with it, the electronics that go with it, they were mounted over here on uh, the shifter side and people were getting them wet and knocking them, and they were getting knocked off and stuff, having problems just in general. The newer ones, the 2023 and 2024, with the throttle body injection, um, I really haven't heard that kind of problem, like no engines really blowing up, but the mapping is kind of a thing too, a problem, you know, mapping them. So this, uh, I don't know, I'm a carb guy. I've always been a carb guy. I think that's the way to go. You, you know, there, you, you set it up and it goes. That's it. I understand people who uh, go in different elevations have more problems with the carbs. So, as in this scenario, I had Joe put on an X Trig, X Ting, sorry, X Ting 36 millimeter carb on this one. Those, those carbs, Electron Smart carbs, those type of carbs. They get their valve. They get their um, fueling a little bit different with a metering rod instead of having jets in there. And uh, I can go into more deep detail in another one, but needless to say, these are kind of a set it and forget it, and they work well going through multiple elevations. So without having to change jets, you set it once, and you basically are pretty good. And you might have to just turn it, turn a knob a little bit here and there, but. For the most part, they're kind of a set it and forget it scenario. And uh, I think it's a well worth, you know, that's one of the well, well worth it upgrades, even to this bike. Um, if you were gonna get one, I, I would say, you know, maybe think about, you get the bike, you, you get the spring rates for your weight, um, and look into maybe getting a, an X-Trig or a Electron or a Smart Carb. And I'd say you'd be good to go. I, I wouldn't say you have to do anything else as far as if you were riding it off-road. Um, off-road, they come with a light. You know, that's not... A, all those things I've, I've stripped, you can see online what they actually come with. But we've stripped it to kind of make it more motocross. And I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, which will be motocross related. But that's not to say I won't take it off-road and, and see how it fares that way, too. I... I do get out in the woods every once in a while and, and ride some of that for you guys, but I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy that's going to give you the the gnar, you know, out there like a Megs Brat or um, or a Robo Robinson who do who does that hard who does hard enduro. I don't do that kind of stuff. The other thing that uh, some of, a lot of the bikes don't have electric start. So this thing is like amazing and it starts so easily. <laughs> amazing starts every time like that it, it just kicks over like that it's nothing to to get it going and electric start I mean you think about like if you maybe you know and I don't like to make a lot of comparisons but I've, I've heard this thrown around that you know well why wouldn't somebody get a a Yamaha uh, 250x for this price well you're not getting 300 you're not getting 300 cc's and you're not getting electric start or hydraulic um, clutch. So that right there, that you know, maybe a thousand dollars worth of stuff that you're getting that you don't get from from that. So uh, I'm gonna just throw out the price real quick. Uh, Sixty-eight ninety-nine, sixty-nine hundred is what they're asking right now, and then you pay. If your state has taxes, you're gonna pay your taxes, and you're gonna pay shipping. Um, I just got mine. Mine was four hundred to have the shipping. So I don't know if that changes depending on where you are, but you know, figure somewhere in that neighborhood, but you're not paying, you know, you're not paying all those other extras that are associated with uh, going to a dealership. If you get it um, directly to yourself, you can order online at um, gpxmoto.com. Uh, the company is in Linden, Utah. It's a family run company. The money that you pay stays here, you know, minus the cost of goods for them to get the bikes. But uh, they got a good company over there, a bunch of small, you know, small little company, but good, you know, in Utah. And you, I don't think you can find much uh, of a bike of this quality 
at a lesser price. I have kind of been a proponent of being frugal and, and people getting um, lesser qual you know, lesser priced bikes. When it comes to this one, you're getting the best, highest quality on par with anybody else. I, I will, I'm going to say that maybe a little bit less. Maybe the only weakness being suspension. I haven't tried the suspension yet out on this, so we'll, I'll let you know uh, more further in other other videos about the suspension. But right now, I'm going to say you're getting something equivalent to any other manufacturer, and you're getting it for thousands of dollars less. So, in these tough times, you know, with inflation as bad as it is, and uh, bikes sometimes hard to get, man, these. These GPXs are amazing and an amazing value. And of course, I'm going to exploit that to you more. I'm going to do some more videos and show you. Uh, I'm going to get down to the nitty, nitty gritty on a bunch of different ones on cost and how they compare to this. But for right now, uh, I thank you for in watching the video. I hope you'll continue to watch my videos here on the channel. We're going to do some more with a lot more with this as the year comes on. Uh, maybe even race it in 2024, and I will catch you on the next one.